Hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my tutorial for part six of the uh, coding assignment uh, for uh, static files and generic class based views. And uh, part six is about a, a delete view and update views. And I want to let you know that this is a re recording for part six. Um, I discovered uh, today a student um, uh, notified me that the sound uh, quality and the uh, synchronization between the the audio and the video for part six were uh, really bad. And so um, I'm re-recording part six and I want you to know that uh, that required me to go back and reproduce the state of the project in between uh, parts five and six. And I have, I've done that somewhat imperfectly, but to the extent that the files that I'm showing look uh, different than the ones that you would be showing, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about that. Okay, so in part six, uh, here's what we do. Uh, we refactor only one of the delete uh, views, registration uh, delete. Uh, the other ones we're not going to do, and I'll talk about that while we're doing registration uh, delete. And then uh, we haven't done the updates uh, yet. So we're going to do uh, together instructor update and section update, and then you're going to do on your own course update, semester update, student update, and registration update. OK? Uh, so let's get started. So let's open up views.py. OK, and let's find the delete view for registration. OK? Now, uh, it turns out that the generic class based view for delete um, is kind of simplistic. It works like the, uh, the deletes were coded in um, uh, Pinkham's uh, deletes from his uh, textbook um, uh, blog based uh, tutorial, which is to say uh, it doesn't worry a whole lot about uh, trying to delete um, model objects that are uh, that have uh, other uh, model objects pointing to them with uh, foreign keys. Okay, and so you know we fixed that problem in all of our de uh, our delete uh, views, and we don't want to get that problem back by refactoring to the generic uh, class-based uh, view. Now, the only place where we don't have a problem with uh, potentially ruining the database integrity by uh, refactoring a, uh, a delete uh, view is in the case of the registration object. Um, there are no model objects to point to registration objects with uh, foreign keys. And so we can just do whatever uh, people do who don't sweat the small stuff about uh, d uh, deletes. So uh, let's do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the registration uh, delete view as it currently is, and I'm going to toggle it into a comment. And we'll get rid of it in another couple of minutes. And now I'm going to go over to my already baked version. And I'm going to get the new code for the refactored uh, view. And it's very short. I think you'll like it. It looks like this. Pretty cool. Uh-huh. Now, uh, let's see. It's it's got two uh it's got two references to code that need imports. Uh delete view and reverse 
lazy. So let's go get those imported first. I'm going to um, I'm going to highlight uh, delete view, and I'm on the Mac, so I'm going to press uh, option return, and that's going to make the import happen. If you were on a uh, Windows uh, machine, you would press Alt Return. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for Reverse Lazy. I'm going to highlight it and um, I'm going to press Option or Alt Return. And now I've got the imports uh, here. Wow, this is a lot shorter. Okay, why is it shorter? Well, it's using the code from the uh, uh, from the superclass uh, delete uh, view, and we do everything in a pretty standard way for registration uh, deletes. And so, all we need to tell it is um, the name of the model class registration, and then we have to tell it the URL of um, that's going to be routed to the place that we go to when we want to see a registration list. So instead of uh, trying to forward it to that view, what we do is uh, we call it reverse lazy and we point it to the URL pattern and uh, the URL uh, pattern is going to forward it to the view for registration list. And that's going to do it all by itself. Now, why do we point it to a registration list? Well, the detail page is already gone. Uh, okay. Now, is it just going to uh, delete it? No, it's going to do what we were doing before. It it will send back a confirmation page. Okay. And uh, you, when the user says, yes, they really want to uh, delete, then it will uh, delete it and send it to the uh, registration list uh, page. Okay, and then all this code is uh, 15 or 20 lines of code we don't need anymore. It's that easy. Pretty good. Huh? Okay, now we've changed the view code, but we're doing one other thing in this round of updates and that is as part of the static files uh, support we're putting styling into our uh, templates and um, the template with that we're looking at when we would ask to either uh, delete or edit a um, a model instance is uh, the detail view. So we're on the registration right now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to find my templates and I'm going to find the registration detail. And I'm going to open it up. And here's the case where uh, I've already made the changes just because uh, I didn't want to change all these files in order to get them back in the state they would have been in after part five. Okay, so what are we adding? Well, in the case of each of the links here, it do them both at the, at the same time: the delete and the and the uh, 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 the update. We want to say that we want it to look like a button. Okay. And all we do is we add the attribute class equals button to uh, the A tag, and it's going to look like we would like it. So we're going to do that uh, uh, for the update and for the uh, delete. Okay, now we should have what we need to uh, run the server. So let's get the server do, uh, going, do a run server. Okay. And let's open up the browser, go to registrations. Let's go to a registration that we have here for Franny Stegliano. Okay. 
uh, we haven't done the code for, we haven't refactored the code for edit registration. That's the update code. Uh, uh, but we have refactored this uh, delete. So click on the delete. Okay. It's going to ask you to confirm it. If you confirm it, like we do, uh, I'm going to do here, it's going to uh, delete that registration. And now that one's gone. Okay. And that's what it was doing before, but it wasn't showing us the, uh, the uh, pretty buttons. Okay. So we've got that working. Very good. Well, what else do we have to do? Um, let's go back to the instructions uh, that we have for the assignment for part six. Uh, so the only part of the, uh, the delete uh, views themselves that we're going to refactor is the one we just did. Okay, when we get to each of the detail um, uh, templates, when we're doing the updates, uh, it changes the styling for both uh, the update link and for the delete uh, links. So they're all appropriately restyled by the time that you're done with uh, part six. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the updates. Instructor update we're going to do first. All right, let's go find instructor update. So I'm going to go back to views.py, and I happen to know that the instructor views are up at the top. Okay. And instructor update looks pretty big. Okay. So if in fact we're just going to use a generic uh, class-based view, and if the amount of code that we need for it is anything like what we've been doing, we're going to save a lot of text. Okay, so let's do this. Let's toggle the old version into a comment. So we can just leave it there till we're done. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to my already baked version. And I'm going to go find the new code, which is right here. Okay, so let me plunk it in where it belongs. Instructor update. It's really that short. Isn't that beautiful? So we've saved, uh, we've gone down for from about 20 lines of code to about four. So what's interesting is there's not a big change in the top of the code. What before when we were using view as the super class, we had to tell it the form class, the model a class and the name of the template. Well, now instead of subclassing view, we're subclassing update view, and we have to tell it the same three things, but that's all. All the, all the other code is, uh, we're going to get for free. Why? Well, because it's already been coded for us in the superclass, update uh, view. So update view has among the, uh, the methods that it has implemented uh, it, it uh, takes care of the get object. It takes care of the get. It takes care of the post. It takes care of all of those. So now that that's in there, let's get rid of the old code. Okay. And there we go. There's the old code. So let's uh, go give that a test. Oh. We're not, we're not done. Okay. What haven't we done? Well, we haven't changed the styling on the detail page. We did all the styling on the registration page, but let's go find instructor detail and change the styling. Okay. Now mine, 
uh, has already been changed because I didn't revert the file to where it should have been. But you're going to have to add these attributes on the two links, one for the delete. Uh, even though we're using the old code for the delete, we do want the new styling. And uh, uh, for the... Uh, for the edit, which is what we call the update in the user interface. Okay, and again, we're just going to be adding uh, the class attribute with the value button. Okay, so having done that, we can go to the server and uh, we can go to instructor. And of course, we're going to have to pick one. And again, let's go back and find me. Uh, Kevin Trainer. Here we go. I know I'm not part of the the phony test data, and I say I want to edit. Okay, that's good. Let's give me the middle initial X. I don't have a middle name, but we'll put it in there, and we'll update. And you can see it's now Trainer Kevin X, and I don't really like that X, so we're going to edit it again. Uh, and we're going to get rid of that X uh, period. And we're going to update the instructor. And now I'm right back to where I needed to be. So I have uh, the same functionality for the update. That's not surprising. We were just refactoring to uh, tighter, simpler code because it's going to be a lot easier for us to maintain over time. We're going to be maintaining uh, four lines of code instead of about 20 lines of code. Okay, so there's a real uh, payback there. And we uh, changed the styling, both uh, for the edit link and for the delete link. All right, good. What are we going to do next? Well, let's get our instructions back. They're over here on my other monitor. Okay, so uh, we've done the instructor update. We're going to do the section update, but as a clone of instructor update. So let's see that being done. Okay, uh, go back to views. Okay, uh, we're on instructor update. So I'm just going to borrow that clue code because I'm going to use it as a, a starting point to clone it for uh, section. So we're going to go down and find section update. And that's surprisingly, it's got a, the approximately 20 lines of code. Okay. And we can take all those lines. And a lot of people uh, are reluctant to get rid of their code before they have the new code there. So uh, what I tell them is, uh, well, toggle the old code in, into a comment. You have to get rid of it, though when you're done. Okay. So, uh, all right. Now, what's going to be different? Well, it's not instructor update. It's going to be section update. Okay. The form class is not instructor form. It's section form. The model class is not instructor. It's section. And the template is not the template for instructor form update. It's for section form update. OK. And that is it. Four lines of code. And as you remember, we never want to leave uh, commented code in, uh, in our uh, class, or in our uh, module in this case. So let's take that and delete it. And we still got one extra blank line. So let's get rid of that. I got rid of my gray squiggly line. And that's that. And am I done? Uh, no, because I need to go to the section detail template and I need to uh, change the styling. Right? So section detail. And again, uh, you're going to change the styling. Mine's already changed. And again, on each of these two 
links, we're just going to add the attribute class equal button. Okay, so when we do that, mine's already done, we can go back and do a test. Okay, so here's our section list. Okay, now mind, uh, here's a change here from my last uh, test. I had had a uh, section called 34001, and I changed that to 099 in the last version of this recording. So now I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to uh, change it back. So I'm going to edit the section, and I'm going to change the name from 0099 to 001. That's how it got started. And I'm going to click on update section, and now I'm right back. It's now 001. So that worked very well. All right. And so, um, so again, because we're just refactoring uh, the view logic, we do no, we're not uh, expecting any behavioral change. That's, that's what we want to ensure when we test it. And then uh, because we have changed the styling during the test, we want to see this new styling both for the edit and for the delete. Okay. Uh, now, I want to point out one thing that I'm not sure I talked about yet. If I have, I apologize. And that is, in the view, you'll recall that we only refactor to the the uh, generic class-based view uh, for registration uh, delete, not for the other deletes. Okay. Um, the other set of views that we're not uh, refactoring to the uh, generic class-based version are all the detail views. So you'll see here, uh, this is a uh, section detail, because that, that was uh, close by. And you'll say that, you see that its subclass is the view superclass. Uh, and that's not one of the uh, generic. Uh, if we wanted to use the uh, generic one, it would be a, a, a detail view. And uh, rationale for that is, like the deletes, our uh, it detail pages have some extra content and logic on them. Uh, and that has to do with on everything but the uh, um, now this is on all of our pages, actually. All of our pages, they not only show the data for the um, for the model object itself, but they show links for the related model objects. Okay, and that's not what the generic version of the class does. So what we did is that we left it uh, just a subclassing view, which is where we were before we began this assignment. Now, would it be possible for the deletes and for the details to use a generic uh, class-based uh, views, uh, which would be uh, delete view and uh, detail view, and um, to override the methods. Absolutely. And I think in some version, I probably will do that. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's going to add a whole lot of value, but I think it would be nice to try. I just haven't tried it yet. If you can try it and, uh, make it work for any of those, uh, that's great. We'd love to see it. That'd be a, a really nice thing to show the class. But uh, for right now, uh, we're not doing that uh, genericification of any of the details, and we're only doing it for one of the deletes, the registration. Uh, OK, so where do you go? Well, now that we've done uh, together instructor update and section update, you're going to do course update, semester update, student update, registration update. And remember, I think we've already changed the uh, we've already changed the styling on the template for registration, but they have not been changed for course 
semester or student. Um, so remember to change those so we're getting proper buttons for edit and delete. And that's all the work in this assignment. Uh, congratulations on uh, getting to the end. I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.